joined by uh, USF head coach Jose Fernandez. Uh, coach, if we could just begin, thanks for joining us. If you just get your thoughts on the game, please, then we'll open up to questions. Well, was it, it wasn't a very good basketball game by either way. If I was watching it at t on TV, I probably would have turned the TV off. Um, I mean, both teams shot, we shot 24%, they shot 32%. Um, you know, we're just right now, it's very uncharacteristic on how poorly we're shooting the basketball. Um, but, you know, that's what I told our guys, you know, it was a two possession game at halftime. I thought uh, the McCulley kid really hurt us coming off the bench. She had nine at the half. Um, you know, not having Betty in the game um, hurt us, right? Uh, those two, Betty and Shea, have not practiced the last two days. They're pretty banged up. But, uh, you know, we found a way to, uh, to make a couple shots down the stretch, make some free throws, and get some key stops. So um, we move on, and we're in the semifinal again, uh, hopefully – Hopefully tomorrow we're playing a really good Tulane basketball team. and We're going to have to shoot the ball a lot better than we did today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get through that and have an opportunity to play for a championship, but uh, we're not going to do it playing, playing the way we played tonight. We'll open up to questions now for coach Fernandez. Feel free to just chime in with your question and we'll go from there. Coach Fernandez, congratulations on the win. I know it's, uncharacteristic of your team to um, score this little points. What can you do offensively to get these, your, your kids to, to shoot at a better clip? You know, we wanted to play fast. Um, and I thought we did that in the first half, but playing fast doesn't mean taking fast, bad shots. And a lot of them were, were not good shots. Um, they were early in the shot clock. And then when we ran offense, I thought we got, we got some really good shots off of pin downs and staggers and off of flares and guys are wide open and they, they, they didn't fall. But when we started to drive it more and get to the free throw line, that helped. Coach, uh, when you guys were, were leading up into this one, how, how was your practice? How were the days of practice leading up into the game? Uh, practice was good. Um, back home, we had, we had those two days where we just concentrated on ourselves. I thought we defended a lot better. Um, shot the ball pretty good at the ranch yesterday. So, but didn't do it today at Dickey's Arena. Coach, what do you have to do to beat uh, Tulane tomorrow in the semis? I think, you know, it starts to, I, I, they got different guys um, in, um, Jordan Kidd, who's who's had a really special year, uh, but then out in the perimeter, I mean, they got Dinah Jones and Clark and Bates and uh, Cheatham played well today. I mean, uh, Crystal Freeman, who's been a staple of their program. We got to dri guard dribble penetration. We got to keep them in front of us, you know, make sure we guard the arc and then, and then be solid on, on where we want the ball to go and, and, uh, do a good job taking care of it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, this is a really important game for them tomorrow, right? We beat them twice during the year and this is the third time we play them this year. And, um, their kids, I'm, I'm sure are going to be really excited to play us because we've had so much success against them, but you know, every game's different and I know Lisa's going to get them ready to play and, um, you know, if we shoot 24, 25% against those guys, it, it's not going to be a pretty basketball game. Coach, obviously, Betty got into foul trouble. Um, saw a lot of Christina Bermejo and a little bit of Jordao. You know, just kind of how, how did you think they played while Monongo was sitting on the bench with four fouls late in that game? Yeah, I thought Bermejo, we tried to save Betty as much as we could. But, I mean, I thought Bermejo gave us a lot, you know, some crucial minutes. She played 17 minutes. You know, we played 10 guys uh, in a tournament like this. You want to probably save, save minutes for, for, for your top six, seven guys as much as you can. And, you know, we weren't able to do that. Uh, Pinzon still played 35. But Betty, Betty should be resting. She played 22, Shea 30. Um, 
but we need we need some more production from you know off the bench from Maria and 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 and, and Robbie uh, tomorrow. And over the last you know week or a couple of weeks, they haven't really shot the ball well from three. What do you guys have to do to get them them going? Because they are such important pieces of this team off the bench. Yeah, I, you know I think you, you count. Um, played those five and the, the two against UCF and then this one. So we played eight games. Um, and, you know, that first game coming off that layoff against Tulsa, we played without, what, two starters and our first two off the bench. So um, this has been a killer, but we, I mean, we're just, we're just trying to get through it. Uh, that's what I told our guys. A lot of, you know, different teams find a way to lose these close games. We, you know, we didn't we we didn't have a lot of close games in those first eleven, right? Outside of the Baylor Mississippi State game. So now, you know, coming off that layoff, that's what we've seen. We've missed a lot of our our flow and our continuity and everything like that. But you know what? No one's going to feel sorry for you, and you don't make excuses. Um, we just got to continue to defend, rebound, take care of the ball, and hopefully, offensively, we play a lot better. Coach, um, first half was was rough for you guys offensively, to say the least. But you guys went on that little run right before halftime to cut it to five, which is pretty big. What was the message in the locker room during halftime um, just to get you guys going off that Yeah, run? we just said we just won't win the first five minutes, you know, win the first five. But in the fourth quarter, you know, we're, we're up, and we did. Um, and we did, we did, you know, it wasn't pretty. We just did enough to finish. And um, Asia Strong's one of the premier scorers in the league. What were you guys able to do on our defensively to hold her to four points on two of 10 shooting? Uh, well, I thought we were there on, on the catch. I thought Bermejo did a really, really good job on her. You know, she didn't hurt us. It was other, other guys, right? McCulley coming off. Um, you know, the Colbert kid had a really good game. She finished in the, in the post. But, I mean, tomorrow we got to be solid against Heidi and Freeman and uh, they had Tulane had a kid that came off the bench and and gave him a huge spark interiorly. Um, so, I mean, that's what we're going to have to do. And finally, um, Elena came in with the strong scoring push in the second half, um, putting the ball on the floor. Seemingly, when you guys have kind of been slow offensively these last couple of games, she's been there to kind of get you guys a bucket when you need it. What can you say about her play? Well, she hit a big basket on the mid range at the end of the shot clock but she's she's six for 18 right that's 30 percent 30 percent is not good you know um so you know our our perimeters went three for 12 two for 10 six for 18 0 for four that's not good it's got to be better thank you coach you got it take one or two more for coach All right, hearing none, Coach, thanks for your time today. Look forward All to right, guys, we'll right. see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'm in a better mood. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Okay, joined now by uh, Sydney Harvey. We will just uh, open up right up to questions for Sydney, please. Sydney, you guys went down um pretty early in the in the first half, had a cold shooting half. How are you guys able to maintain your composure? You know, the ball's just not going down. How are you guys able to keep your composure in the second half to come back and get the win? I mean, uh, Aliza and Betty and Shay, they all brought us together, talking, just saying, like, we got this. We just got to get stops. I mean, they really kept a level head and just helped everybody out to not get, like, too frustrated or stressed. And what was your mentality going down the stretch in the fourth quarter, taking the ball to the basket and getting to the line? Well, my shot wasn't falling, so I was like, I need to get to the basket. Normally, if you can get a couple free throws down, then shots start to fall. So that was just my mentality. Thank you. Sydney, with, with Betty on the bench with four fouls kind of in that, in that fourth quarter, just, uh, you know, how valuable was, was Christina Bermejo's play um, in that fourth quarter? Uh, just to just to get some some play out of a big, you know, just how important was was her? I think it was really important. She did a great job. She defended. I mean, she did what she did her job. She did what she needed to do. And I mean, she also hit a three, and that gave us a spark. So. 
And leading up to this one, you guys got three, four days of practice to focus on yourself. How did you think those three or four days of practice went for you? Uh, it went really good. We were focusing on us. I mean, we were really working on defense, like no straight line drives, just containing the ball. And I think we had a lot of energy and we were just excited to come here. Sydney, as far as the tournament goes, you always hear about survive and advance. The good news is in good teams find a way to win. Another great saying in sports, you guys didn't shoot well, but you found a way to win the game. What do you have to do to win tomorrow? Um, I think we just have to defend, do what we do, um, push the ball in transition. It's a lot easier after you defend and you just push the ball. I mean, that's when we get our easy baskets. And yeah, I would just mainly say defend is very important. Any other questions for Sydney? Okay, thank you, Sydney. Congratulations. Thank you.